Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about The Art of Knockout. No chance I'm pronouncing that name. First, Andre Lima. As we all know, Andre Lima is the bite victim from his last fight. I thought he was losing that on his way to lose that fight. He was starting to gasp pretty, pretty hard. Now, he does have five finishes um, by TKO or KO. No submissions, one decision or two decision wins five uh ko's four tko's in the first round like i said two decisions one disqualification loss and again i thought igor severino was winning um that fight and on his way to finish the fight was stopped by a cut in muay thai uh, about a year a little little over a year ago at this point so uh, striking is pretty good the grappling is where it was a little uh uh worrisome i would say you know eight finishes both eight and no 26 years old for the art of knockout seven finishes for the art of knockout but five submissions two tk or ko's four finishes in the first round but also two in the second and one in the third for the art of knockout so this one's a little bit more complicated because I think the art of knockout is a little bit more well-rounded, even though he is very good on the feet. I think the art of knockout gets this one done because he's a little bit more well-rounded and he's been to a multitude of third rounds a couple of times, more times than Lima has. Like I said, with what, four finishes in the first round. Yeah, five TKO or KO wins, four in the first round, one in the second, and he's been to a decision uh, two times. So he's only been to a third once, or I guess twice because he went to a decision. But again, I like the art of knock on this one. I think he's he's a little quicker, both 8-0, and oh, like I said, 26 against, 26 against 25, 5'7", five, 5'7", seven, five, seven, 71 inch reach, 67 and a half three and a half inch reach advantage for the art of knockout and as always guys subscribe like comment let me know you're picking let's talk about it peace